couch Dogs need the lessons Welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson right here on Lick and Riff. We haven't had a Beatles song in a while, so I arranged for no one for you. Uh, so I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes. If you don't know that song, it's a beautiful, 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 very sad and uh, heartbreaking uh, love song. So uh, I'm gonna play with the arrangement and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note by note, chord by chord with tabs right here on the screen so you can play it yourself. All right, so it goes like this, enjoy. Okay, so um, it's C, right? it starts with a C chord, um, and interestingly enough, the melody is, uh, is a low melody. So you play the bass, the fifth string, and then you play okay, the third and fourth on zero and two inside the chord. Okay? You can play the bass again okay, between those last two notes, you really don't have to. Okay? It's G over B, so it's the same strings, and you just play two on the fifth string, and then the open third and fourth three times. Okay, so you get this. Then you have A minor seven. It's A minor with the open third string, and it's the same idea. This time you add the second string into the mix. So it's the fifth string, and then you play, okay? Strings two, three, and four three times. go of the D string, you leave one on the second string, you put three on the sixth string, now you have um, A minor 7 over G, or you can call it uh, G6 sus4, okay, it's the same, uh, the same chord, there's different names, um, so, okay, now you play strings 1, 2, and 3 um, as your melody on 0, 1, 0. The G bass is your bass note, three on the sixth string. Right, so you had. Um, okay, now um, I was caught in the moment, so I forgot to uh, mention that you play the chord with the bass this time. Okay, so um, it was A minor, and then you uh, you replace the two on the fourth with three on the sixth. Okay and you play the chord four times, okay? Because you play the chord with the bass this time, okay? And then you have F major seven, okay? And you play the chord once, and then it's back to low melody. So it's zero, one, two, three on strings one, two, four, okay? Okay, F with the open E string, and you play, um, you can play the chord, okay? Or you can play strings one and four, and then, Strings two and three three times. I prefer to play the chord. Okay? And then you have B flat sus two. So what I do is I put a bar on one, just put a finger on three on the third string, and I play strings two, three, and five. I don't play the fourth. Okay? And then okay, the chord just once, two, three, and five. And then, Three, three, zero on the third string, you let go of the chord, then you have C again, okay? You play strings three, four, and five together, and then the third string twice, 
and then the fourth, all inside the chord. Maybe that's Paul McCartney for you, a harmonic genius. Um, all right, so that's the verse. That's that's it. C, G over B, A minor seven, A minor seven over G, F major seven, B flat sus two, C. You can play it twice um, because the verse repeats, and then you play the chorus. Okay. Starts with a C arpeggio, strings 5, 4, 3, and then you have D minor, but you just play strings 3 and 4, because then you play um, the second string on 3, 1. I harmonize with 2 on the third string, so it's... Okay? Then you have this. Okay? It's 0, 2 on the third string with A7, so you put 2 on the fourth, Okay, on the fourth, the D string, and you play strings three, four, and five. And then two on the third, or again, okay, two and uh, strings uh, three and four both on two, okay? Too many numbers, so. Okay, then you have uh, D minor, but you play uh, zero, one, zero on the E string, okay? Just a classical arpeggio, just A strings 4 to 1, D minor with 0, 1, 0 on the E string. And then you have this, okay? It's again, it's A7 again, but you have 3 and 2 on the second string. So you play strings uh, 2, 3, and 5, and all you have to do is play 3 and 2 on the second string. You don't have to put anything else on, okay? And then D minor again. I play strings three. Uh, I play strings two, three, and four. Okay, um, because then you go back to okay, this. You, you go back to the three one. So you get this. Okay, classical, and then okay, the D minor three one line, and then A seven again. Okay, and then the second D minor, A7, D minor line. So basically you repeat it twice, you just don't do the first uh, C arpeggio the second time. You start right from the D minor, from 3-1 on the second string. Okay, so again. All right, and then. And then D minor, back to 3-1. And then. Sus. Now this time it is G sus. It's not A7 over uh, A minor 7 over G. So you play strings two, three, four, and six, okay, with one zero on the second string. You play it twice, okay? Dramatic. Think drama, okay? The original song is with a full orchestra. It's very, very dramatic. So you want to uh, to imitate the sound as best you can with a small wooden and steel instrument. And then you either play everything all over again, or you go to the solo. Okay, the solo uh, starts with okay, um, just the C bass and the open E string, but you need to put on the C, uh, the C chord, because then you have an arpeggio. Okay, so you play C chord, 5, 1, 3, 2, 1. And then you have this. Uh, okay, it's... Uh, 3 and 2 on strings 1 and 5 for G over B. And then, okay, your little finger, 5, 3 on the E string, and then 5 on the 3rd. Okay? And then you have A minor 7. Okay, so it's again an arpeggio. Uh, the 5th string, strings 3 to 1, and then 3 on the E string. Okay, and remember, the 3rd string is open as well. This is A minor 7. And then, okay, it's one pull off the zero twice on the, uh, the E string, and the second time is with the G bass. And then, one on the second string. And then immediately, the open third string, three, two on the fourth. So, and then you have F, and okay, just an F chord, 
bar on one, E shaped, and you play strings uh, four, three, two, okay, with the bass along with the first note, okay, and then you have the B flat sus two chord, this time arpeggiated, the fifth string, and then strings two, three, two, okay, on one, three, one, and then. It's three, two, three on the third, and then two pull off the zero twice on the third, three on the fourth, leading you to two on the fourth with the C bass, which is the C chord head again, and you're back to the beginning. Um, how beautiful is that? That's Paul McCartney for you. So, um... Before I go practice this, download the tab. The link is below in the description. The tab is for free. Subscribe to the channel. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know why you're not subscribed to Lick and Riff. There are hundreds, literally hundreds of free lessons and arrangements just like this one. Um, so check the playlists and um, go download the tab. I said from the link below in the description. There's also a Patreon link if you want to give anything back and support free guitar education uh, for your benefit and everyone's. And uh, everything goes right back into Lick and Riff into making your lessons. So thank you very, very much uh, for your generosity. Whatever you choose to give is amazing for me. So thank you very much and thanks for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy and have fun with this song.